what to do if you have a criminal record? I get this question asked a lot. Uh, I'm not gonna disclose who's asked those questions, but uh, this is a common question that a lot of people kind of freak out when they go get a gun permit or they go to get a job or something like that. I've got this call numerous times. Um, so per request, here's some more added value. Hope you guys that this, uh, well, I hope this helped you guys. So if you have any questions, definitely just DM me, send me a message, what have you. So uh, first question is what to do if you have criminal history. Oh, you find out you never knew you had a criminal history. Um, most time people find this out when they'll get a pistol permit or they go purchase a gun or they go apply for a job, get a job promotion, uh, what have you. So first thing I would say is do a full background check. So you can find a lot of these employment uh, uh, websites that you can go to. I think I use employment screening uh, services. I think it's another one that I use for a nonprofit. But there are several. Uh, they are qualified and they do a very extensive background check. Uh, what a lot of people don't understand in regards to uh, background checks is depending on the entity or the organization, uh, let's say it's the police department. If it's a police department and not a sheriff's office or a state trooper or a FBI, all those different organizations have access to different information. So with that being said, I tell people, just don't go to your local police department to get a background check. What you want to do is get a very extensive, full background check. Um, and once again, you can get this with different uh, employment organization, think, uh, employment website, and things of that sort. Like I said, I think I use employmentscreeningservices.com. Uh, I used it for, uh, used it for, I used it for a law firm, um, use another one for a nonprofit because I look at, in order to, the nonprofit I'm involved in this with kids and typically kids who've kind of been through some things. So I want to make sure I vet, you know, six spreaders, things of that sort. And you can spend anywhere from $10 on a basic background check or $300 on just very, very extensive one. Uh, so I would say that's the first thing I would tell you to do. Uh, I kind of recommend to do this uh, maybe once a year, maybe once every one to three years, something like that, just to kind of just see what's out there. Um, if you know you don't have anything going crazy, I mean, you might have to check it once every five years or something. I don't know. Um, so, but once again, I kind of get these questions when I'm asked, when the folks are asking me uh, when they went to go get a pistol permit, things of that sort. Uh, so what to do when you do find out that you have criminal history, you have some of your background shit. First thing to do is open the lines of communications with law enforcement department. So what I mean by that is either you and or a lawyer, uh, hire a lawyer, you probably can hire a lawyer for, you know, anywhere from $500 to, you know, the sky's the limit to just make a call to whatever their jurisdiction or municipality is uh, and say, okay, hey guys, I have a client. I've done this plenty, plenty of times. I have a client. Uh, got denied for a pistol permit, trying to see what's going on, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it's an old charge, sometimes it's a small charge, whatever it is. You might have thought that you finished class, that you didn't finish class, you know, DUIs, whatever, what have you. Uh, so you call down there and see what it takes to get it, uh, to get it resolved. Uh, most time you might have a warrant out there if you have criminal history um, and it hasn't been resolved. So it means it's probably a warrant out there. You, you know, call some money, get the warrant recalled, then they'll set a court date and then they'll proceed on to the next step. Uh, depending on the temperament of the judge, depending on the nature of the charge, all this comes into a play when trying to get it resolved. If it's something minor, it's been years ago, you know, sometimes the judge let it go with a fine and maybe take a course. If it's something very harsh, uh, which if it's something harsh, you probably know what you did. <laughs> so let's let, let's not waste time. Don't try to go find a, a a, a, a lawyer who's going to charge you five dollars to handle that case like you're going to need a sense of case work um i typically re recommend a lawyer in a situation where you just don't know what the outcome is because the lawyer try to mitigate how much you, you know the client's going to have to do to go ahead and get this resolved um the next thing i would tell you to do be prepared to right the wrong okay uh i get a lot of clients who uh, they come to me, they don't know what, you know, what happened, blah, blah, what's on their record. And I, as a lawyer, we have access to the database. We do a database check uh, real quickly, find out you got a laundry list of stuff. And I, and it never fails. I <laughs> call the client, did you know you have X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. 
And they're like, oh, I thought that was off. I thought I did this. And yeah, yeah. It's like, no, you didn't do it. So uh, time to resolve it. And sometimes I get clients that like, hey, cool. What's the next step? So I, you know, go ahead and call down the court, magistrates, whatever, whoever it is, judge office. And so, okay, this was going on. You know, kind of explain the story. And what surprised what people don't understand is judges will hear you out. They will try to, you know, if, if uh, somebody was in college and had a stupid charge and, and let's say you are chairman of a nonprofit now, you live out of state, things of that sort. The judge will be typically, not all judges, will typically uh, be kind of lenient towards it. Uh, that's not a promise. Now, everything I'm saying is not guaranteed. This is just basically a strategy to employ to make sure that, you know, to get you the best uh, win for your case and try to resolve it as quickly, smoothly, and cheaper, cheaply, as cheapest as possible. Uh, so, you know, when you find out what, what, what's going on, if you want to go down this road, you know, go ahead and be prepared to right the wrong. I mean, if you have a DUI or, you know, you have a domestic violence charge or uh, what have you, and this is just me being frank, uh, be prepared to right the wrong. Whether it's pay the money, whether it's do classes, whether it's, you know, maybe it's jail time. Be prepared to do it. Otherwise, don't waste your time or your lawyer's time. Now, next thing I would say is once you have right this wrong, i.e. paid money, what have you, be, make sure you get all certified copies that the case has been resolved, okay? You know, get the stamp, hey, this is resolved, you know, warrants recall, case has been thrown out, or all requirement has been met, whatever it is, receipts, documentation, get it all. Because, <laughs> as you're also going to find out, every different enforcement organization operates differently, okay? Uh, primarily because of resources, okay? Um, just call it spade to spade. So a municipal or a municipal court might have an issue in regards to uh, following all the paperwork to get into the state requirement in Alabama versus somewhere in Georgia or New York and things of that sort. So you want to just make sure you make copies, scan it to yourself, make two or three copies. Because here's the next thing I would tell you to do. Send it to all of the agencies which you which alerted to you that you had an issue. Okay, um, so whether it's uh, pistol permit, gun permit, a job, or anything like that, because what you'll find out is those courts or that municipality might not have the resources and might not be as timely as you want it to be. So what you want to do is take those uh, take those documents and send it to them. Uh, you want to send it to them and then. Uh, get certification, that, get uh, a confirmation that they did receive it. So, I'm sorry, this bug is uh, flying all around here. I apologize for that. Kind of nerve-wracking a little bit, but hey, whatever. So, what you want to do is, as soon as you get you close that file out, you got everything, and the judge say you're A-OK -okay to go, what you want to do is take that document, take that document, and then fax it, email it, um, uh, send it to whoever you need to send it to, uh, whether it's your boss, whether it's supervisor, whether it's new, the job that, you know, says, hey, um, you know, you never resolved this, but you say, hey, it's now resolved. Send it to them, get confirmation. I typically like fax, like email, and I like mail, certified mail. I do all three of those things. And I do a follow-up call to make sure they received it, okay? Some people like to think it's overboard. I don't think it's overboard. When it especially comes to employment, when it comes to business, when it comes to, you know, I don't know, just your civil right, your right, which is to uh, make sure that you uh, have the right to bear arms and that you can walk around this world free and not worry that, you know, you have an outstanding warrant out there or something like that. So um, last thing I'll tell you, never do it again. OK, uh, I know this is funny, but hey, whatever it is, no matter how big, or how small, no matter what you think it is, just don't do it again. As you can tell. Uh, some stuff doesn't go away from years. Uh, I have clients who have stuff that's over 10 years old. Yes, over 10 years old. Uh, some states have statutes against it. Some states don't. Um, some stuff just gets lost in the shuffle. Here's the thing. The best thing I tell people is, uh, and I was just talking, I mentor a lot. So I was just telling my kids the other day, don't, if you feel like your emotions are getting the best of you, you know, just take a second, you know, take a second, go walk outside or walk around the building. Go run, go, you know, go relax your mind, go get a massage or something. Don't do it again, you know, uh, because obviously this doesn't, you know, whatever it is that's in the heat of the moment doesn't, doesn't cost you like angst in the, in the future. So first thing is, find, do a full background check, 
Two, open the lines of communication with the law enforcement agency. Be prepared to write the wrong, get certified closing documents, notify all the background organizations, uh, you know, background checking uh, agencies, and never do it again. This is Ronnie Rice. I hope this guys this this has helped you guys. Uh, please like, follow, share, comment. Uh, my social media handle on all my social media platform is Get Rice Now. That's G E T R I C E N O W. I almost got that. Also, feel free to uh, do a free consultation. You can book me up at, at RonnieORice.com. That's R O N N I E O R I C E.com. Um, and feel free to call or text 205 222 9815. You guys have a blessed day.